Hey gang, Tony here with a surprise announcement. Oh, this is exciting. Any guesses? Any guesses what I might be unveiling today? I don't know. No, not my chest. I just finished the prototype to the Trick or Treat Lollipop. Now, I've been really excited about this, and I've been kind of teasing about it a lot, showing pictures of parts of what I was doing. So I figured, rather than just post a, rather than just post a picture of it, I wanted to do a very short video just to show you guys what I have here. And um, would you like? I would like you to keep in mind this is a prototype, meaning it's this is the first casting of the lollipop, and. Um, there are a couple of very small imperfections in the first casting. It's usually how I can tell like where big air bubbles might get trapped. So like in future castings, I can kind of try to get some of that out of there. So uh, there's a couple little areas like that that you might spot. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that before I show you this. But it is pretty much what the final piece is going to look like. So without further ado, the Trick or Treat Lollipop. I wonder if that whole time you were able to see it. I was holding it down here. I don't know where the camera's aimed exactly. So, I don't know. But there you have the finished pop. Get kind of a try to get it a little closer. Again, not exactly sure what the camera's picking up right now. So, I'm just kind of moving it around slowly so you can see it. Here's the back. Well, the side. The back. As you can see, I was really going for a, a sugar candy look. This is not candy. Oh, you know what? That paint's probably still wet. I wonder if I, I... Yeah, I did. I just smeared some of the paint. I was so excited to show you guys that I didn't even let this dry. I just... I ran up here. I was like, gotta show everybody. Okay. Um, yeah, I smeared the paint a little bit, but I could clean that up later. So, uh, yeah, this is not candy. It's plastic. It's resin. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have to <laughs> do a, um, do a little note to make sure no one tries to eat it, but don't eat this. Now, um, I have a flashlight here just to kind of show you the translucence, uh, translucent nature of the, of the resin that I was using, because I don't think you could see it that well right now. So, just to give you an idea. It's pretty good, uh, in terms of being able to see through it. Nice translucency. Is that a word? I don't know. There you go. Okay. And um, I also brought over the official promo Trick or Treat Lollipop that was given away at some of the screenings, so I wanted you to see a comparison between what I made and the official promo of Lollipop. Uh, this is actually candy, so there's the, um, this is an official promo Lollipop. Um, it's in the bag because it is sugar, it's candy, and it kind of over time has, you know, stuck to the bag and melted a little bit, so I, I don't trust taking the bag off there anymore, so I just leave it on there. Um, but there is just the comparison of the the two. I tried to get a pretty accurate uh, representation of what they created. I did change a couple of things. I wanted it to be a little more hard, ed uh, a little bit more of a hard edge. So if you look, there's a lot more like soft uh, curves to this one than on this one. And the reason I did that is it um, it is a weapon. I mean, he, he uses it as a weapon, so I kind of thought it would be a little more realistic if there were kind of a sharper edge to pieces and, and even the mouth and the eyes. I really wanted it to be look sharp. Okay, um, what else did I want to say about this? Bah, 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 bah. Oh, the stick. Now, obviously, you can see through it, and you can see that the stick goes up to right about there. And I was curious what you guys thought. Sound off in the comments if you feel like telling me um, if I should leave it as is, so leave it where it is, or to put it higher 
so that it actually go through the the whole uh, pop. I think I like it like this, but I thought I'd ask you guys anyway. So this one is mine. This is the one I'm keeping. I usually keep the prototypes because there's always maybe a little bit <clears throat> that I want to fix up with the prototypes. So I'm keeping that guy, and then um, I'm going to start making the uh, the rest of them. And like I said, I'm going to do some blood variants with realistic looking blood. Um, I'll show you guys that when I get to it. And I'm, I'm just waiting for the paint to come in the mail, so I, I haven't actually done a blood variant yet. And... Oh, I'm going to do more blood variants this time. Uh, so I usually do one out of every five as a blood variant. I have a feeling that those are going to be kind of... Um, sought after or um, maybe you know preferred when buying the lollipop to have some blood so I'm gonna do a, f a, a bit more than I usually would um, maybe two in every five I haven't really decided but there'll be more of them uh, and like I said in the last video you'll be able to actually order the blood one so instead of it being a random insert I'll, I'll make it orderable that way if you want a blood one you could get a blood one hopefully you know if it doesn't sell, sell out before you get to it and um yeah so that's about it what do you guys think pretty good like it think it's cool want one i may not put these up for pre-order until closer to october just to let you know even though i have them kind of uh done that's actually the other thing i want to talk to you guys about really quick um my current my current um idea is that i kind of want to get like these done um my mini monster, the secret project magnet that I'm not telling anyone about yet, um, and the second runs and the variants of the uh, Sam heads and the Leslie heads and all those things. I kind of want to put them all in the shop around the same time so that you could save on shipping. So that if you want more than one thing, you could order it all together and then have it all shipped at once. That way you're not buying this plus shipping and then buying another thing plus shipping and buying another thing plus shipping. So I kind of, that was kind of the idea, and I was thinking October would be the perfect time to do that. So like October 1st, maybe open up, have a bunch of stuff in the store, everybody order it, and then you'll get it, you know, uh, you know, right away because they'd be ready to ship most of the stuff. Um, so tell me, do you prefer that? Or would you prefer that I just, as things are done, put it up for pre-order so you can get it as soon as possible? So in other words, these are, you know, ready to be cast and made put up a pre-order for it tomorrow and ship them in a week or two. Um, so tell me which way you prefer. I'm leaning towards putting everything up in October so you could order it at the same time. And while I have you, I might as well show you those variants that I had got working on. Um, so as I was as I was testing out the coloring of this and, and, and the plastic for that, I did a couple of variants of the Sam heads. So um, there is one that was painted and of course this is also the same kind of translucent look to it and um, I was thinking of people seemed interested in it so I'm probably gonna do a few variants like this and maybe just change up the paint job for each one so each one is different and here's this one without paint on it and it's a little more of a solid I put more color in this one so it's a little less translucent and a little different of a color so uh, just a couple of little things that I was playing around with as variants uh, for the Sam heads. And yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, this went longer than I expected it to. So uh, tell me what you think. I hope everyone likes it. Worked really hard on these. And um, the sticks are handmade too. Most of you already know that. But yeah, I, I, made, I handmade those sticks for the uh, lollipops. Because I figured this just wasn't good enough. I wanted to do something more. So, yeah. Hope you guys like it. Uh, I'm going to come back sometime midweek with another I Forgot I Own This video. And, uh, of course, over the weekend, hopefully more yard sale find videos. Uh, stay tuned and like me on Facebook if you haven't already. Like uh, Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already. Uh, find me on Twitter. Go to my website, anthonyjrapino.com. I'm a writer, too. Check out my work. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.